these neighbors are gonna start to think some funny stuff but so that is the uh the truck that we're getting ready to do next so that's my boy's uh jacked up truck over there but that's the one that's next in line guys i'm telling you man stay tuned it's about to get funky back again hold on there's like a cat hair right here right, okay we good um man that cat's everywhere but welcome back to another video we were day three of the obs build it's up there i mean the power people is up there trying to put them 5g towers in there it's kind of cloudy but it doesn't say it's gonna rain it'll just probably get chilly throughout the day but we got all the product that i ordered that we needed so we got the PRV TW350 Ti Slim Tweeters, man. These right here, for them being that small, look how thin that box is. You know, these things are pretty loud. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I was really impressed with them, so I'm gonna continue using these tweeters. Really good. Lightweight, small, you can put them anywhere. We got, I think this is like a six foot RCA that's gonna be ran from the radio to the EQ. It's a SCAR one, so. It's a good uh, RCA connection, pretty good. Actually, this is probably the 17 foot, to be honest with you. And this is actually the uh, six foot that we're gonna run from the radio to the EQ. Still a good brand, you know, brand new. That's what you always wanna do. We got a new amp kit. We're gonna only do a regular four gauge amp kit on it. It comes with all the extra RCAs remote wire fuse holder and all that stuff and it comes with a blade fuse and we always want to use like an a &L fuse I call it a blade fuse um, but always want to do one of those pretty good the amps only like 700 800 watts so this little baby 4 gauge is perfect for it you don't have no subs no nothing but once we do um, the subs we'll upgrade to the zero gauge so um, this is good just for right now because we wanted to get it plane because of the truck show this weekend and we got 16 gauge speaking wire same brand as uh, the M kit, so 16 gauge is pretty good just for those mids and the tweeters. Um, not too thick, not too small, you know, pretty good. And we are definitely going to go to this other uh, speaker shop down the road. And because I need to buy 10 inch grills, because it'll look a little bit better once we put them grills on the speakers when we put the panel in it'll just look a little bit more professional and you just don't want bare speaker and someone you know leaning their head and pushing that cone in man so subscribe to the channel we are going to finish this truck today this is part three of this build if you guys haven't watched part one or part two man check those video out i will leave those links to those videos in the first comment of this video so check that out drop a uh, the 100 emoji man if you're watching this video you made it this far let me know that you rock with your boy and let's get started So before I get started real quick, if you are new to this channel, this is your first time coming across my channel and watching one of my videos. I do car audio at your house. Uh, I've been doing car audio since I was like nine. I worked in a professional shop for almost like 10 years. And I drop, I try to drop videos daily for you guys. And if you guys are liking what you see so far, man, hit that subscribe button for your boy. We reach 1K, we will be giving away a uh, double din radio for the people that subscribe um, and got me to 1K. February 22nd, mark that date in your calendar. We will be giving out that radio. One of you guys will be walking home with that double din and putting it in your car. Let's get to 5K next. And then after that, 10K, 15K, and so on and so on, man. You know, we're trying to grow this channel. 
we're going to both grow together. Every time we reach one of those milestones, I will be giving away something to you guys. And we will be doing little giveaways here and there. That, you know, if you buy a $10 uh, sticker, man, you you may win, you know, some subs, mids and highs, an amp, you know, and so on and so on and so on, man. So I'm going to make these good, you know, and so you guys can enjoy these giveaways. Um, and we're just going to keep growing, man. So subscribe to the channel for today. If you guys haven't watched none of the other OBS videos, we got this GMC OBS. I built for... 10 inch uh, mids and tweeter panel across going to it out of uh, wood and we're gonna wrap it in a uh, carpet and then we're gonna put some gator material on it to give it a little bit two-tone look so it's just not you know um, black and we should be finishing it up today so subscribe to the channel watch the whole video drop a comment hit that like button and let's finish this truck today guys and we back just like that so I think for all the fabricating that I have to do on this truck I think it's pretty much done so this is the panel and I grind I just got done grinding the back of it I don't know if you can see that that's just so it'll have a little bit more play on top and on the sides too because if you just put it in there square it's just gonna be like um, have a twist on it so when you grind it from the back it gives you a little bit more play and this is the little extra piece that I'm doing right here that's going to be in the, the gator. Someone right there. And this is going to be black and that's going to be the, the gator. It should look pretty cool just with that little bit of um, different color material. It'll make that, that black and brown just like pop out. Let me see the... Oh, that's green, man. Holy cow. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, it's right here. Look. So, with just that black and brown, it'll make it look good. Alright, as you can see, I have the, the inside mechanisms of my glue gun soaking. Um, with dry glue in there, man, it makes it somewhat sometimes hard to spray. So, I got them soaking in there. And while that's actually soaking... I am actually going to start running wires because, you know, if one thing's going on, I can do the other thing. And wrapping the panel, man, that'll take me no more than like 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. You feel me? So while that's going on, I am going to take apart the uh, kick panels. I'm going to take the radio out. I'm going to run the power wire and get everything organized so I can start putting this amp in. And once the panel goes in, the amp is in, wires are connected, then all I have to do is just run speaker wire, tweeter wire etc etc and just to move the uh, installation um, to keep it going so we have battery we're gonna run the power wire on through here go through the firewall inside the firewall underneath the seat and we're gonna run the RCA's on the same side but a little bit further along the carpet that come up through the back right here I didn't want to screw through uh, my boys cab so what I did is I just siliconed a piece of wood to it it's been on there for like 30 40 minutes before I even put the amp in it'll probably be like another hour so that'll give you plenty of time for it to dry and it's a nice hot day and the metal you know it's metal so it's hot so it's gonna you know grab up pretty good sometimes these panels are pretty hell to get off so I'm gonna blow as much as sand and dirt out of this thing and make sure it is uh, I can get these panels out man because sometimes they are hell I'm not even gonna lie so let me get to it, let me blow some of this stuff off, and continue the installation, man. So subscribe to the channel, and let's get this truck done today. Alright, shout out to my boy Castro, man. He builds houses, but we just secured another little job, guys. He has a Gen 2 Lightning that he's just waiting for some parts to come in, but we're doing some DS-18, the double den, some kicker uh, pancakes, so like I said, a lot of people always come to do this uh, systems with Castro. I've known him for the longest, man. Like Me and him, we've been in the car game for the longest, man. He used to have one of those little old school Nissan trucks with the bed that comes up crazy, hopper, and all that shit, man, so. So 
we just secured another job, man. We good. We on the right path, guys. So shout out to him. And I think that one we actually started on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So I'm gonna finish this truck today. Uh, tomorrow I cut hair. Try to get a good night's sleep Friday. That that lightning that he's gonna bring, man, that's just like a one day thing. So and then plus he has a little bit of knowledge of uh, doing car audio. So with him giving me a hand, you know, we'll get it done good. So subscribe to the channel. Wait on that gin too, man. So hopefully he brings the truck back here in a little bit so you guys can check it out. But for right now, let's finish this truck. Power wires ran, you see it, it's all put back together. You see. So RCAs and all that stuff ran back here. The carpet's pulled up because um, I had to run it through there and the piece of wood is already on there nice and secure. So we have something to mount the amp to. Radio got pulled out and I redid his wires back there, make them a little bit more neater and put butt connectors and stuff on there. Ran RCA that went from the radio along with power and remote down to the EQ. And the EQ is already mounted, ready to rock and roll. Man, that thing's in there, so it's really good. Um, he wanted it right here, but if I would have put it right here, it would have had gaps and it would look kind of funny. So I got it as flat as possible as I can get it to for the mounting uh, screws to go in there. And it's on there, it's pretty good. So he's got a good play with it away from his um, leg when he's trying to accelerate and stuff like that. So now all I have to do is wire the the amp and mount the amp and then run wires to the speakers we are upholstering the panel right now we're wrapping it in the carpet i already did the front face of it and we are doing the back it is carpet and i really don't need to uh staple it but i'm just going to go ahead and use some staples on it just to secure it um, especially inside here so that doesn't fall apart i have the centerpiece where the tweezers are going um the glue curing already and I'm letting this one cure. Although it's carpet, it doesn't take much, but it's still, um, you want it to be tacky, not wet when you go to wrap it, so it really grabs bond. And I'm using cement, contact cement for it. Um, the good stuff, you feel me? So, and it's the yellow one, so that thing's gonna never fall off. And it is black carpet, and the black carpet tends to actually bond a little bit more to the wood. I could have like ran the 40 grit all over it to really grab inside it, but it is what it is. It's still going to grab pretty good. The staples are going to hold it so it never really falls. Um, the mounts are right there, over there, and it's going to get screwed onto the side. So we are steadily getting this truck done. Like I said, we have some of the product for the next install here. So subscribe to the channel. It is a Gen 2 Lightning, a black one. My boy just dropped it. He actually, he got the truck Monday. Dropped it already, put some wheels on it. Next, a little bit of system on it. And he's gonna be riding around with it. He's still waiting for a product to come in for his Gen 1 Lightning, which I'll drop a picture of it right now. And that one, March 1st, we're actually gonna start that guy. So we're, it's getting close to getting that one done. He's still waiting for a product to come in. I still got probably like two more little jobs I need to do before I get that guy in here. That one's gonna be the one, guys. That one's gonna be the one. So if you love these trucks, man, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna show y'all that we really get down doing this car audio stuff, man. We, we put, you know, we got that drip for it. You feel me? Most people get do some nice stuff, man, but we got that extra little drip sauce that we put on this stuff, man. So subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of good things coming. I told y'all, so I'm just trying to, you know, work hard, progress the channel, my skills, build up more clientele with this car audio stuff. Man, I can really honestly be booked up from here till December if I wanted to take these jobs. Just for, you know, to see where I stand, I'm gonna make a little small post tonight on Instagram to see who would all like to get a system done. And we'll see what happens, man. So there'll be plenty of good content for you guys to watch all these different cars, get all these different, you know, systems and speakers put in. So, man, I love doing this stuff, man. So subscribe to the channel. I think the glue's ready to rock and roll and let's wrap this thing. Same wheels. Are you? Oh, okay. Same style. Not that bad, bro. These neighbors are gonna start to think some funny stuff, but so that is the uh, the truck that we're getting ready to do next. So that's my boy's uh, jack the truck over there, but that's the one that's next in line, guys. I'm telling you, man, stay tuned. It's about to get funky. Okay, real quick, hold on. I'm about to get copyrighted with that uh, the cram beating. Okay, so real quick, so the panel, it is wrapped. I haven't cut out the holes. 
because what I'm going to do is I'm going to texture the back of it, leave it in the sun so it'll dry. But so the um, the panel's done. I just got to cut the holes out. But like I just said, I'm going to texture it. But this is the little piece that's going to go in the center. It's not much, but I mean it's a little something. Give it a little contrast, let you guys see what it's going to be looking like. So that with that plus the speakers and the grills, it should give it a little bit of a nice look. So. Man, stay tuned. You just seen that black truck, so that's the one that we got next. Um, dude's truck's outside, man. It, it looks like a car show, truck show out here, man. So, all right, so much has happened since I picked up the camera. Man, there's stuff everywhere. I had to flat black this piece out because it is going in the back. So, um, this is the panel. It's going to go in there right now. I just actually got to paint the back of this so it matches it. And the amp is in. Let me show you. Let me know what you guys think of the installation. It's going to be hidden so you'll never even see the amp. But it's in there. It's already somewhat pre-adjusted because once I put these seats back, it's going to be hard to get to her. But it's already in there. I'm about to finish putting uh, all the stuff in and get this thing out of here. All right, so keep an eye out for that lightning install video probably in the next two videos i will be dropping it just a quick little preview for what you guys got you know what i got going on but for right now let's finish this gmc and get it out of here and customers should be really happy with it all right guys so the gmc is done man it took a little bit longer my homeboy had came out here we uh talked a little bit man and that just backed me up a little bit but it is finally done there's a quick little panel a quick tweeters It talks, sadly I can't play no music because of the copyright stuff, but it does sound pretty good. Um, I heard it just with the AM or the like radio station and it was pretty loud, but once you, you know, connect Bluetooth on it, it should sound pretty good. Four tens. Let me know what you guys think, man. Drop the comments, hit the likes. Man, it looks pretty good. I like it, I'm pretty sure he's gonna like it. I wired up the fuse holder, I tightened up his uh, wires under there and the truck is actually ready to rock and roll man you know the, he can come pick it up at any time now he's supposed to be here in the next 30 minutes to pick it up i didn't even get a chance to wash it or anything man, but it looks good so let me know what you guys think stay tuned for that um lightning that we're fixing to do drop a comment which let me know what you guys think about these videos um sadly you know i cut hair so i have to you know close out this video quick and get it cleaned up because my haircut's actually here so um yeah man i will catch you guys on the on the next one